Welcome to the video guys. It seems pretty Patel might be trying to do something about the utter embarrassment that is happening every day down on the Kent coast. She is planning to use the Navy to turn these boats around that is permitted under maritime law it would seem. I guess criminals crossing borders is against the law. Who would have guessed it given what we have seen for years now? Of course that is obviously good news if it is true and pretty Patel actually enacts this policy regardless of the uncontrollable outrage we will see from the opposition parties and of course the mainstream media throwing around buzzwords as is the norm for these regressive toss pots. It seems after yesterday's record numbers floating over from France and Nigel Farage exposing more hotels along with a low-life charity providing free all expenses paid tours of Liverpool Football Club's home ground and field stadium to these criminals. Pretty Patel obviously had to come out and say something because she is looking like a bit of a tit right now in the eyes of voters. Will she actually do it? Who knows? I would not bet your house on it though, that is for sure. But anyway, enough of that, let's check out what Pretty Patel had to say in the Daily Mail, which headlines, Furious Pretty Patel back sending the Royal Navy to tackle migrant crisis after 235, including heavily pregnant woman and a tiny baby are caught making the perilous channel crossing in one day. Because of course, even the Daily Mail have got to try and put something in there to get an emotional response so you don't just think she is doing the right thing here. Of course, the Daily Mail are just like any other media organisation. A furious Pretty Patel last night backed sending Royal Navy patrols into the English Channel after a record number of migrants reached Britain. Officials have been ordered to draw up plans in which, for the first first time the Navy could turn back boats. Yesterday, 235 migrants in 17 vessels made the perilous crossing, the highest daily total since the crisis began surpassing the previous record of 202 set on Thursday last week. Because obviously, every single week they get a little phone call or a text message from someone who's made it and was picked up by the border force saying do it, you are guaranteed to get over here, four star hotel, money in your pocket and everything. Of course, as I pointed out earlier, while they arrest Brits for video recording them doing it. The number who have reached Britain so far this year is now already doubled the total who arrived in the whole of 2019. I expect it's a hell of a lot more than that. That's just the ones they know about. Nearly 3,950 migrants made the crossing in small boats in the first 219 days of 2020 compared with 1,850 last year. The crisis is a personal blow for the Home Secretary who made a pledge last October that crossings would be virtually eliminated by now. Which, it wasn't just Pretty Patel who said that, it was actually Boris Johnson in an ITV News segment. A Home Office source said the final straw was this record number which led the Home Secretary to demand this new initiative. The real solution must come from the French. We want the French to take them back. And actually, no, the real solution needs to come from the EU, but obviously it's not going to happen. The EU needs to stop letting them in so they can even get to France. But yes, while they are in France, they are France's problem and they should just be sent back, whether the fucking French like it or not. End of story. Last night, sources said Navy vessels could now begin turning migrant boats back to France in a major escalation of tactics. Miss Patel has told MP she has obtained legal advice that such a move would be legal under international maritime law, which is something I said the other day when the French said they can't do it under maritime law. I called it as complete bollocks and it would seem legal advice has said the same to Pretty Patel. The tactic would be highly controversial and risk alienating the French government, which has told Britain it believes it to be illegal, as I just said, but fuck the French government. At the end of the day, they are letting them come here, so why should we risk alienating them? They are alienating alienating us and the people of this country. Other emergency measures being considered by the Home Office include using Navy vessels to block the path of migrant boats. It is understood smaller military craft would be used rather than larger vessels such as frigates or destroyers, obviously. The Royal Marines could play a key role, sources said which will probably be them that fly over and turn the boats around personally. It is understood smaller military craft would be used rather than larger vessels such as frigates or destroyers. The Royal Marines could play a key role, sources said. British forces could also use nets to entangle propellers or floating booms to block the way for migrant dinghies. Both methods were tested in secret trials in May and June involving Navy ships and border force boats. A government source said these are all options that are being considered. The Home Secretary is furious about this high daily total, which we think is as high as 250. It is now understood the figure is 235 as I said, according to the BBC. 
see who are the most trustworthy source in the world. The source added, she has instructed her officials to speak to the Ministry of Defence about how we can proceed. She also requested a discussion with the French Interior Minister, Gerald Darmian. Civil servants from both departments have conducted initial talks and the Home Secretary may follow these up with a formal request for assistance from the Ministry of Defence. Yesterday's arrivals included at least 10 young children and a heavily pregnant woman that we don't give a shit about. And we also don't give a fuck about the amateur photographer who got them, no one actually cares. A British patrol boat towed a kayak into the port of Dover. This is what uh, Nigel Farage tweeted about yesterday which has obviously got Pretty Patel actually doing something about it. The Home Secretary said she wants stronger enforcement on the other side of the channel and has been trying to persuade the French government to allow migrant boats to be turned back. She said last year that a previous deal with the French would make crossing an infrequent phenomenon by this spring, which is obviously a complete load of horseshit as we can see by what is going on. It came as an inquiry was launched into the crisis by the Commons All-Party Home Affairs Committee. MPs will begin their investigation when Parliament returns at the start of September once the numbers have probably topped over 5,000. So a lot of good they will be. It'll be the end of next year or the year after before they actually come out with anything and by then there'll be 10 or 20,000 here if it's going at the rate that it is. Now of course as I said this is good news if it actually happens but like I've said many times before Pretty Patel has done a hell of a lot talking and done absolutely fuck all in my opinion especially that I can think of off the top of my head. Name one thing decent that Pretty Patel has done down in the comments if you can. At the moment, all we can do is hope that she actually will. Like I said earlier, don't bet your house on it. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off.